the question is identify the lesion in the radiograph okay let's just i'm sorry that the picture is a little blurry but uh, if you i've zoomed it up in order to you in order for you to visualize it properly if you look at this image you can see that there is some form of radiolucency which is present uh, at the apices of the molars as well as the premolars and it is extending in the anterior posterior direction it is extending in the anterior posterior direction and it is not involving any other region as in you cannot particularly see any form of swelling okay so such a lesion where you have an anterior posterior radiolucency is going to be very suggestive especially in the molar ramus region i agree amongst the three options which are given over here unicystic ameloblastoma dentigerous cyst and okc all three of them are present in the molar region molar ramus region however over here the tooth is erupted so you can ignore dentigerous cyst it can completely be uh, taken care of you can eliminate the answer primordial cyst is a cyst which occurs more commonly in the premolar region but it does not extend to the molar region so that is out now that brings us to unicystic ameloblastoma and okc the thing with unicystic ameloblastoma is that unicystic ameloblastoma it does not have an anterior posterior spread rather it causes expansion of the buccal and the lingual cortical plates and it is more circumscribed okay so that means even unicystic ameloblastoma can be eliminated from the answer and that is why the answer over here is okc okay now coming to this image this was this is one more thing that you need to remember like i told you that okc is going to be having an anterior and a posterior extension it does not have uh, it does not cause expansion in the buccolingual plane and that is the reason why always remember that okc the characteristic feature is that it causes an anterior posterior spread another important thing that you need to remember is that this is the histological picture and if you see the basal cells they are arranged in tall columnar palisades and they give what is called as the tombstone tombstone or picket fence appearance okay that's all that is there to remember about okay see